We're going to do randomized Fibonacci sequences. So we're going to take a Fibonacci sequence, we're going to randomize it with this coin. Uh, I think we should do a, a recap of Fibonacci sequences first, just to see what the original Fibonacci sequence is. So your Fibonacci sequence starts with a 1 and a 1, and then the next term is the sum of the previous two. We're going to add those together. So 1 plus 1 makes 2, 1 plus 2 makes 3, 2 and 3 make 5, 8, and or 13, 21, and so on. So if you want to write that down as a, a little formula, you'd write it like this. If you want to find the next Fibonacci number, you just add the previous two. Okay, so a couple of well-known facts about Fibonacci numbers as well. Uh, if you take two consecutive Fibonacci numbers, it will divide the big one by the small one, then you'll see, and it's been proven for a long time, that this will tend to a number which is 1.61803398 something 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 uh, and people will know that this is a special number this is called the golden ratio which is this symbol the golden ratio but you can use that to estimate let's say you've got a really big Fibonacci number and you don't know what it is you can use the golden ratio so the idea is every time we're sort of multiplying by the golden ratio to get the next one up. Less true at the beginning becomes more true the bigger these numbers are. So you can kind of like reverse engineer your numbers. Yeah, yeah. So you can work out the millionth Fibonacci number, right? So if you wanted to work out the millionth Fibonacci number, what you're doing is multiplying by the golden ratio a million times. So let's say approximately equal to golden ratio, which is this symbol, to a million. And I can tell you what that is. I've actually worked this out. 4.4 times 10, and it's going to be a huge number, 208,987. So this is a really big Fibonacci number. Uh, but this is an estimate because it is a bit rough. Uh, if, it, if you want to see what it actually is, the actual millionth Fibonacci number is 1.95 times 10 to the power 208,987. So not quite there, but the size of these numbers is spot on. So that was just a little recap of Fibonacci, because what I want to do now is randomize this. Well, Fibonacci, we know everything about it. Oh, boring, so predictable. So now let's use my coin to randomize this a little bit with this idea. I'm going to create a random Fibonacci sequence. The next one is going to be the sum or the difference of the previous two numbers. So we're going to start in the same way with a one and a one. Now, what is the next value? We're going to use my coin to find out. So normally it would have been two. So this is, this. if it was the ordinary Fibonacci sequence, we would add these together, we'd get a two. I'm going to flip my coin. I might take the sum, I might take the difference. So let's see what it's going to be. You've got negative on one side. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So I've, I've prepared, I came prepped. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right, so let's do, is it a sum or a difference? And I've got difference. Difference, okay. So it's naught is the next number. So zero is the next number. Let's do the next number. Is it gonna be a sum or a difference? It's gonna be a sum. So I've got one now, add the previous two to give me one. Let's see what I get next. Let's try it. Whoop. Okay, I've got a sum, so we've got back to another one there. Okay, I've got a plus, so that's a two. Let's keep going. Is it a sum or a difference? Okay, now I've got a difference, so we're going to do two minus one. It gives me a one. Let's do a few more. We've got a plus now, so that's going to be a three, two and a one. Oh, and a difference here, so three minus one is a two, so it's unpredictable. I don't know what's going to happen next, and if you don't mind, I want to really make that point. If I did it again, I'm going to get a different sequence. But is there anything I can say about them? So I don't know if these are going to you know, go off to infinity, like the Fibonacci sequence just gets bigger and bigger and bigger, goes off to infinity. I don't know if it's going to, maybe it just goes off to minus infinity, I don't know that. Maybe it kind of hovers around zero, maybe the pluses and minuses cancel out, or maybe it's unpredictable, maybe it's just chaotic, and I don't know what's going to happen next. So the surprise is, I can make some predictions. I can make some long-term predictions 
For example, I can tell you what the millionth random Fibonacci number is going to be. Uh, because, like the original Fibonacci sequence, there is a growth ratio, just the same way. I want to show you that. So it's 1.13198824879433 something something something. Okay, so this is our constant and it's going on forever, uh, which means we can use this uh, to predict the millionth random number. So let's do it. Random Fibonacci number, one million. Same kind of thing that I did with the Fibonacci numbers. It's going to be you know, approximately this constant. Oh, I'll just do 1.319, you get the idea, to the power 1 million, uh, which is some big number. Uh, 8.3 times 10 to the 53,841. I will tell you, this is a statement about the size of the number, not the sign of the number. Uh, so I don't know if it's a plus or minus number. So it might be a plus or minus. So this might be going off to positive infinity, might, and there's no reason why it can't go down to negative infinity, but they are growing. Uh, the size of these numbers are growing, and in long term, we can predict how much it will grow by. Uh, if you want to put it another way, you could say it like this. If we take the nth random Fibonacci number and make it positive, and we took the nth root this is tending towards our magic number here, 1.1319 and stuff, as n tends to infinity. Although, well, I'll put a little thing here. Almost surely, that's a funny expression I've slipped in. This tends to this constant almost surely, because the original Fibonacci sequence would count as a randomized Fibonacci sequence if I was just getting plus every time I flip my coin, plus, 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 plus. So that counts, and that has a growth rate, which is the golden ratio. It's not this value. But the chances of me getting plus, plus, plus over and over again, so that I've got the Fibonacci sequence, becomes increasingly small. Uh, so if you look at all the possible random Fibonacci sequence, things like the original Fibonacci sequence almost never happens. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's almost never going to happen. If you did this for real, almost 100% of the time, you're getting a properly random sequence of pluses and minuses, which tends towards this growth constant. Uh, another example of what wouldn't work is if I had a pattern. If I had something like plus, minus, minus as a pattern, and it went plus, minus, minus. So if I started with a one and a one, it would be plus, minus, minus as a pattern. So you'd go plus would make a two. Then a minus would be two minus one. So sorry, that should be a one. Then a minus again, one minus two. I've got a minus one. Then we go for a plus, which gives me a zero. Then we'll do a minus, which is going to give me a one. And another minus gives me a one. And I get back to the original two numbers and then that pattern will continue. So that's not growing at all. That's just oscillating up and down. So that doesn't have a growth rate because it's not growing anywhere. Uh, you won't really see this coming out though until you're using, until you've done this for about 200,000 times. So you have to go quite far and then you start to see that this starts to tend to these numbers. You don't think someone watching is going to make some computer simulator that will do this 200,000 times? And that's what they did. That's exactly what they've done. So when they were trying to calculate these numbers, they simulated it. And they could see that in the long term, these, this was the growth rate. So in the 1960s, they showed that these randomized Fibonacci sequences do grow. I think that's a surprise in itself because, you know, we've got pluses and minuses, don't they cancel out? but it turns out they don't. So these sequences are growing. So they could prove that it was growing, but they didn't know what the growth rate was. So that took, oh, till 1999. So we're talking 30 years later, and it was calculated what this growth rate was, and that was really hard. Proper advanced maths, proper advanced computing, but what they did calculate was these, this part of it, one point, 
13198824 and that's as far as they could go because it's really hard to calculate and that was 20 years ago and in the 20 years since we've worked out five more digits and that's as far as we've got I know other people. Audrey, hang Hello. on. Audrey? Do you want to hear about applications of o Fibonacci sequences? Audrey, you're not supposed to be in here. Out. Come on. Out you go. Out. Come on. She Out you go. She was interested. Out you go. 